Hello everyone, this is Mang Sangvi from plemon.com and I am back with another tutorial. And in this tutorial we are going to import a database table or views in our FM project. In my previous video I explained how to create a new FM model and add or add a namespace and I am explain little bit about the windows available in framework manager. Now it's time to run or run metadata wizard. So let me first delete this because I don't want to use this. So how to delete? Right click on your query subject, edit and delete. Or you can use delete button from your keyboard. Now how to run metadata wizard? You have two options or few options. You can click on run metadata wizard or you can Run metadata wizard from I think I think action and run metadata wizard. I always prefer to open a metadata wizard by right clicking by right click on your query subject and run metadata wizard. Okay, now in the first thing you have to select the data source. I want to import my tables from a database so I am going to select a data source click on next and if you are not able to see anything then you have to create a new data source how to create a new data source for this you have to click on new and this is the welcome wizard or uh, the this is the welcome window for the new data source wizard so click on next and now provide a proper name for your connection so let's say I'm going to name it my first connection and in description I'm going to write uh, this is my first data source or database connection first data or data source or data or database connection and in the script tape uh, you can say my first connection okay these two fields the screen tip and description is a not mandatory field but as a best practice always use a proper description when you create a connection or new item in Cognos environment click on next to continue and I want to select the type is SQL server and my SQL server is SQL server 2008 native client and I don't want to configure JDBC connection I'm going to explain it later but for the time being uncheck this and click on next and now it's time for my database and my server name is localhost so for localhost you can always use dot and then my instance name okay this is a uh, I forgot the instance name so let me open SQL Server Management Studio and I want to connect on test TV. test TV is my database and I want to create a single sign on for this connection and in single sign on I want to use my SA password SA username with password 123456 123456 Right now I am not able to test this connection because I don't know the exact instance name. Okay, and here is the instance name. Okay, no issue. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and click on connect. Just to ensure whether my password is correct or not. And I hope it is correct. So let me copy my instance name here. And it's time to test our first connection. okay uh, the password you type do not match so we have something wrong with the password here so let me retype my password again one two three four five six test the connection once more and in SQL Server Management Studio my connection is create uh, I'm successfully connected on my database server it means my username SA and uh, the password for SA one two three four five six is correct so I don't want this SQL Server Management Studio anymore so I'm going to click uh, close this window 
and in framework manager or new data source connection wizard you have to finally click on test uh, and if you forgot what what I did uh, first I mentioned the server name IP address slash instance name and the database which on which database I want to connect and I created a single sign on for this connection the username is SA and password is one two three four five six and finally I am testing whether all the input or all the mention fields are correct or not for this I am testing my connection and if if it is tested successfully then we are ready to click on finish okay finally my connection is tested successfully click on close click on close and finally we are ready to click on finish if you want to know what all this option I am going to explain this in my future videos for the timing just uh, click on finish and finally our first database connection is created successfully close click on close button to close this uh, wizard the new data source wizard successfully created a data source and the first connection in IBM Cognos software server okay click on close this window and finally my first connection is created successfully and I just want to show how to create a new connection that's why I show uh, I explain how to create a new data source connection for this video I am going to use the existing created connection create outdoor cells and finally click on next now from great outdoor cells uh, I want let's say uh, let me import two tables from my go cells and in go cell I want product let's say product and product brand and finally I want to import cells uh, target sales reason and product name look up product line let's say order detail let's say branch country let's, for the timing uh, let's import this few tables and uh, I prefer to create the relationship between two tables manually so I always uncheck this option and click on import and uh, if you want to create the relationship between your tables at the time of import then you have to check this use primary and foreign key to create or to generate the relationship but I always prefer to create the relationship manually so let's see the difference between both the options so let's first create the relationship between you uh, use primary and foreign keys to create the relationship click on import and finally my tables or six tables are inputted successfully count is six and three relationship is created between the tables so click on finish and finally if you are able to see in the explorer I have six query subject and the three relationship between country and branch product order uh, product and order details and product brand and product okay no issue and here is the relationship different relationship Okay, uh, this is the one method in which uh, we imported the relationship between the tables at the time of importing the database table now I want to create this relationship manually so how to do this uh, for this I'm going to delete everything right click edit and let's say delete okay and let's rename it my first FM model okay no issue now I'm again going to run the run metadata wizard and this time I'm going to select data source click on next I'm going to select the database connection is great outdoor cells and if you notice I'm able to see the description or 
about what about the connection is so this is the good way to create a new connection always provide a proper description and screen clip first connection my first connection uh, okay I'm not able to move my cursor okay if you are able to notice the my first connection this this is the connection name and then hyphen then my space first space connection this is the screen tip and this is my first database data or database connection is the description and sorry for the spelling mistake in the first okay uh, I want to select this click on next and finally I want this table so let's say product and order header table and click on next this time I am going to uncheck this and import click on finish now I imported my database table successfully what we have to do the next okay this is the good question and for the answer of this question is available in my the next video in my next video I'm going to show how to create a relationship what you need to do after importing the database table and I'm going to divide all these query subject in three different layers so that's it for this video if you like this video don't forget to subscribe if you have any queries leave a comment I will try to reply as soon as possible with proper resolutions thank you for watching and see you guys in next video